Yay! We are on episode 22 of 24 of Dixon Drawing Class. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a good week. I hope that you've been able to do your thumbnail sketches and practice drawing the elements in the style that you want to draw. Have you been doing any speed paints? Have you been working hard? So I guess I'm wearing the same clothes that I wore last week. Either that or I'm recording this on the same day that I recorded the last week's one. I'll let you decide. We are gonna jump right into it today. Our mini lecture and drawing portion of the class are the exact same thing. We're gonna, I'm gonna talk to you about how to work on a sketch and get a final sketch for your project. If you look at the homework sheet, it looks like this. Uh, the idea is you can use this uh, as your as your canvas to start out with, but actually I think it's probably best for you to to uh, just do it on your own piece of paper, a larger piece of paper, or uh, your own canvas in Photoshop. Uh, the idea is the homework is take the thumbnail you drew last week and draw it larger and over and over, redrawing the parts you don't like until you have a final sketch that you're happy with. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, let's take a look at what I've got pulled up here. This is the thumbnail that I decided to go with for the Mary Poppins thing. It's just straight on. Here's Mary Poppins, here's Jane and Michael, here's the bird lady. Um, I chose this because it feels like you're in the, the audience. It feels like you're uh, there on the stage and it's just like you're kind of watching a moment from far away and it, it's kind of uh, not dynamic and so you can kind of focus on their acting and it's going to be really cute. The things that I did this week to practice for it was I practiced drawing uh, drawings in the style of Annette Marnette. And she is a really, really great artist and I really like her style and I kind of want to do that, uh, at least a sketch part in her kind of style. So now that you've got that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the right ratio measurements. So it might behoove you to take the thumbnail sketch and measure the sides and then times it by uh, 10 or, or however many might fit on your page and then draw uh, the box on your page in those right dimensions. Or you could do what I did, which was I just created a new canvas in the size that I, I wanted to draw it in. So here it is. I believe this is 10 by 18. Yeah, this is 10, this is 18. Okay, so the first thing I do is that what you're gonna discover is the first sketch that you make is gonna be very rough and it's gonna be a whole lot like the thumbnail. Remember to have your, um, your reference file handy so that you can work on this, so that you can refer to it whenever you need. Okay, so I liked it when the horizon was about right here. St. Paul Cathedral steps maybe about right here. Okay, there's pillars. It goes like this. Okay. It helps to, to draw the perspective grid on the ground like this. So that we can see, oh, the stairs actually go like this. Maybe draw something in the foreground to kind of frame that. I know, I wonder if I can mess with this and make it a little bit more like this. I like that better. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to be drawing these foreground elements just so I can kind of frame the picture. I don't know if I'll draw it that far in. Okay, and then I think I want 
Mary Poppins right about here. And she'll be holding her umbrella and maybe messing with her gloves or something. Here's her hat. I'd love to see her in the orange dress because that would stand out so nicely against the blues of the picture. We'll decide that later. Okay, it'd be nice if the bird lady was right about here. Actually, I think we probably need to make these stairs more prominent if we're going to make her that size. Okay, let's see, Jane would be feeding the birds like that. Michael would probably have a bird on his head like this. Let me look up. Like that. And there would be birds overhead. I think I made Mary Poppins too tall, so I'm gonna make her smaller. Maybe a little bit bigger. We definitely have to do chimneys in the background. If we want to do London, maybe we can get some cherry trees back here. Once so again, what I'll need to do is refer back to the picture. Maybe the Fidelity Fiduciary Bank will be right here. Okay, these all will just be really faint outlines in the background because once again everything is meant to frame this picture. Actually, let's have that go up like that. Okay, this is our first sketch. Wow, this is pretty ugly, huh? You know what? That's okay because this is what we do from this point out. Once you have that sketch down and you're getting, you know, the basic uh, staging and layout and stuff, go ahead and either put a new piece of paper over yours, maybe tape it to a window so that you could see it better, or lower the uh, transparency, the opacity on this, get a new layer, and we trace over it again, but this time we go into just a little bit more detail. <laughs> Okay, all right, so this is basically sketch number two. Now I'm going to tell you, uh, it goes along this process, this is kind of what I do next. A lot of times I collapse these layers, I lighten them up, and then to make sure that it's working, I flip it horizontally, and I can see a lot of problems that I didn't see before when I flip this horizontally. Uh, just a lot of times the way I draw it, it kind of definitely has a slope to it. And if you flip your drawing, you'll be able to catch a lot of these issues. So we do another round again. <laughs> This 
up. Now I could spend forever on this sketch, but you would be bored out of your mind. Um, hopefully this is giving you an idea though of what you need to do for your sketch. Okay, we are going to flip these around again. See if they held up on the other side. Okay, Jane is looking pretty good. The bird lady is looking more shapely. Mary Poppins still needs some work, bless her heart. Uh, let me show you probably what your sketches should look like when you are pretty much done. Hang on. So I would say this right here is a finished sketch. Really, really close. It's, it's detailed enough that, oops, that you know where all the lines are going and you know what you need to do when you trace over it. Okay, all the elements of it, even this one, which is pretty sketchy, is pretty much what uh, is pretty much defined. Let me show you what the finished one of this one looked like. Okay, so it ended up very close to what we had here. Sketch finished. Okay, so very, very close. That's what I would recommend is getting the sketch as good as you can get it without moving on to finishing it, if that makes sense, uh, making it uh, final in terms of color and line work. Okay, there you have it. You will love the homework this week because sketching is the fun part of doing the project and seeing the project come together. I just love it so much. So like I said, your homework is to take the thumbnail you drew last week, draw it larger over and over, keep redrawing the parts like I showed you, uh, turn it over, redraw it again. It's a lot of redrawing and finishing and getting that right. Awesome. Okay, so, oh, it's time for question and answer. It's time for question. Okay. So this week was a question I had from an Instagram follower named Animation Bunny. Hi, Animation Bunny. She asked me, she asked me what my process for coloring a picture was. And I'll tell you, my process is a little complicated. What I do first is I draw the sketch in Photoshop, like what you saw here. And then when the sketch is finished, I bring it into Adobe Illustrator, where I use a pen tool to black out the basic shapes. And then, and like mess with the color, it's really easy to mess with colors in, in uh, Illustrator. And then I take, I export that as a PSD, then I take it back into Photoshop and I add a lot of the shading, I add a lot of the lighting and the textures and the line work all in Photoshop until I'm happy with it. So that's my process. I'll show you a little bit of that process next week because next week we'll be talking about how to add color. Sound good? It sounds good to me. All right, have fun with the homework this week. If you get discouraged, go ahead and set it aside for a little bit and uh, practice drawing speed painting, practice drawing the uh, artist that you want the picture to look like. Uh, just kind of set it aside for a little bit then come back to it with fresh eyes. That will help. You will really enjoy this uh, homework though and I'm excited to see how it turns out. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.